So long, Zoom. Hello, Proto. It could be the future of video calls. But it's just the tip of the virtual iceberg. First News reporter John Rutter beams us up to speed on a new technology that's taking shape right here in the Mahoning Valley. From pixels to proto, if you can picture it, you can project it. This is not your parents or your grandparents' hologram. It's called the Proto Hologram, dubbed a revolutionary 3D technology using cutting-edge video production and transmission to beam you anywhere in the world. You could live beam in, if you're a college, a world-renowned professor from across the world, but it's not Zoom, right? It's so much better. Not only is it larger, but it's volumetric. People feel like that professor is in the room with them. Think of it like a virtual visit with a doctor or pharmacist or a 3 3D display of an MRI or medical scan, putting you in the room with a specialist that might not otherwise be available. I mean, there's a lot of consolidation going on right now, and, and cost is always important, but care is more important. Immersive care is important. The concept is being championed by a new company called Futuristics, a collaboration between Humtown Additives and Prodigal Media, aimed at delivering innovative technologies to the business, education, healthcare, and entertainment industries. Visual information is more powerful often than words and text. Whether you're trying to sell things, you're trying to bring people together, you're trying to educate. Most people are visual learners. We, we process visual information thousands of times faster than words or text. The company's top secret tech gives you the power to beam people, brands, and digital assets anywhere, anytime, even allowing its users to create and deliver their own interactive content. If you're in retail, you can only carry so many products at once, right? Yes, you can have pictures on the internet or you have a magazine there, or whatever, a catalog, so to speak, but seeing it in 3D, seeing it larger than life where they can manipulate it, turn around, see the detail, that's most likely going to help them make a purchase decision. The key here is interactivity and simplicity, using enhanced artificial intelligence to transform visual communications. Reporting in Boardman, John Rutter, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.